I'm sorry. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Them ladies always in the damn news. Now, let's talk about a little bit of uh, update in um, <clears throat> local news at the same time. Now, we, we, we hit Atlanta a lot, okay? I was hitting Atlanta like, bam, bam, all this stuff was happening in Atlanta. I kind of fell back because we got other stuff, to you know, other fish to fry. But we need to go back to Fulton County. I already told y'all about Fulton County. That's why I couldn't even believe that Young Thug in the YSL, no, Young Thug, yeah, YSL and them was in Fulton County Jail. I thought the jail got shut down. After the guy had the maggots coming out of him. Do y'all remember? I shared that story where that young man or, or whatever man that was incarcerated, he was found unalive in his cell with maggots coming out of him, all types of stuff. And I do believe it was Phil County, but we just going to follow through right now. Okay. Sheriff M.A. found dead. Sheriff M.A. found dead in Fulton Jail with no obvious sign of injury. Mm. Now, either we got a sudden death or we got a problem. Okay, either it's another sudden death or we got a problem. As the Fulton County Jail and its leaders face uh, criticism after alarming death of an inmate in 2022, that's the same one I was just telling you about. Officials said another inmate was found dead inside the cell Monday evening. The last time I heard they were supposed to be transferring these people out of Fulton County Jail. That's what I thought they had said they was going to do. Obviously, that was a no to the no-no. Okay, this is ridiculous so another one was found unalive in the jail on monday evening the facility located on rice street is at the center of the civil rights investigation recently lost launched by the u.s justice department so here go another police sector from another state that's being uh um how would say investigated by the department of justice doj okay and just like in memphis we just saw about memphis Okay. Between 2019 and October 2022, more than 20 Portland inmates died. Okay, guys? And I, I'm sharing this with y'all because y'all don't want to get pulled over in Fulton County. Because here, they try to put you on papers. They're going to try to get you in there. Even if you got your, your, your license is suspended, they will process you and get you in there. You're going to spend a night or two. You just got to be careful, okay, out here because you don't want to end up in a place here. George try to put you on papers. That's why this is a warning, too, and an update. At the same time, so between 2009, 2009 and October 2022, more than 64 inmates died, the highest total for any jail in Georgia during the time, according to Atlanta Journal. Constitution Investigation. Monte, who has been in the facility since October 2022, so it's about to be a year, was found unresponsive shortly before midnight Monday with no obvious sign of injury. According to the spokesman, a lot of, uh, Natalie Almond's jail and a medical professional attempt to revive the 40-year-old, but officially said that officials said that he was unresponsive. Um Stinson has been arrested by the Atlanta Pu Public School Police Department on charges of second degree burglary. So I want to gotta say what he was in there for. He died. He wasn't supposed to die. He didn't get the death penalty. You see what they do? Try to just assassinate the man character. Okay. So it says um stay stan Stanson is the latest. Uh, the latest, the second inmate at the facility, according by uh, controlled by the facility sheriff office, to be found unalive in the cell in the past month. On July the 11th, who is that? This is Noni Koso Ko was delivered discovered unresponsive at the Atlanta City Detention Center with no obvious signs of injuries. Authorities previously say. Amon said Wednesday that the sheriff's office is still waiting on an autopsy report from that 19-year-old woman. 
I'm done. Okay, we got a 40 year old and a 19 year old. Is Grace, is, am, I, am I tripping? Is something not right? Is something not right? Okay, the 19 year old woman was found dead in the cell in Atlanta detention center. And that even, that was not the one I was talking about. That was not the one I was talking about. I was talking about the man with the maggots. And now we have another, a woman. Atlanta mayor office speaks. Michael Smith released a statement soon after. Um, it's Kosokol, Kosokol. That's the last name, okay? Death, stating that um, Andre Dixon had converted a meeting with leadership, have convened, I do apologize, I'll get myself together. I need to get my damn glasses on. That's the problem. Shit looking blurry. I can convene a meeting with the leadership to gather facts in the case. Dickens also reached out to the uh, county leadership and the sheriff's office to express concerns. More. that We need more than that. The DOG, the FBI, and need to be on this case. And guess what? The jail post has been shut down. That's all I wanted to tell y'all. They still got these inmates in Fulton County Jail, and they still dying. They still dying. So don't come into Atlanta, get into Fulton County, get pulled over by the police. You may end up in the jail. I'm just saying not because, you know, I'm hyperinflating it. Literally, if you get pulled over by the police for the wrong right thing, you will go in at least and be processed to have to be bailed out. This is the MO of Georgia. I have noticed that. You know, I'm from Jersey, so I'm I'm used to seeing dirty Jersey, how dirty they go. But here, they make sure everybody, you don't got to be a criminal. A criminal is anybody that they deem made a mistake. And that's even driving. You will go to jail. So don't be careful in Fulton County, okay? You don't want to be inside of their jail. Let's move forward, okay? I, I just got to highlight that. Now, let's move on into our next topic. I'm going to make sure by the time we get to 30 minutes, we're going to take a break because I'm going to hear a word from my sponsors because I sometimes I'll be going in and I'll be forgetting. The main reason I go live is to show y'all my commercial. Yep. Go ahead and judge me. I like what I do, though. I appreciate talking, you know, enlightening the people. But really, I already told y'all, y'all will get this work. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step, -step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team. 